What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another awesome episode. So today the plan is to explore this brand new spot I located on Google Maps. I'm going to see if there's some fish to be caught here. But on the flip side to it, there's been a lot of rain the past few weeks. Uh, really, really made the brackish water even more brackish. Does that make even any sense? So it's a lot of fresh water mixed with salt water. Uh, but we're going to try our best. The water level is a little bit high. Uh, but nonetheless, I am super happy to be out here, guys. Uh, if you have yet, hit that like button, subscribe. Please leave me a comment because I need more comments. You guys don't leave enough comments. I read all the comments. But yeah, let's see if we can get you a good video to watch. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, another another beautiful day that the good Lord has made. Look how beautiful this is. It is calm. We got semi-low winds, optimal tide movement, good level water, and we're here at this undisclosed location where we're going to be hunting down redfish, flounder, and snook. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see what happens. I'm just here to have fun, man. I'm blessed to be out. Day of fishing is better than a day of work. Is that what they say? The game plan. What is the game plan? Well, I want to run into some schooling reds if possible. Otherwise, I want to hunt down some flounder because I know they can be pretty plentiful in this area. Redfish including. A lot of oyster, a lot of mud, a lot of drop-offs. No, I'm just joking. I don't know about drop-offs, but it's pretty dang skinny. And so far, I am seeing a lot of bait here, which is very, very encouraging. So really looking forward to it. Hopefully we can catch some fish for a good video for you guys. I'm going to be looking for blow ups as usual. All this bait right here. You see all this bait? Any kind of redfish that's attacking it, it's going to be something that I'm going to be targeting. And hopefully we can get lucky. We'll see what happens. But yeah, man, it is so gorgeous out here. A little bit late of launching, but you know, that is what it is. Hey, Marcus, there's oyster all over here. This is where I caught reds last time. Oh. Wow. Big wake right there. Big wake. That could have been a redfish right there or a big black drum. Yep, red. I knew it. I saw him. Oh, wow. He's going. He's going. Man, see, that's what I like to do. Target this shorelines, structure, protect me from the wind, look for bait, and just target these hard wakes that you see. Sometimes it's gonna be mullet, the well, majority of the time it's gonna be mullet, and sometimes it's gonna be redfish. I got them on the bugs too, He's one of that bugs. That's a nice fish. <laughs> it's going for a second, third run. <laughs> Love it, man. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first fish on the board. And this is a, he's a doozy. Wow. Got him really good. And my lure just came out. Got lucky there. Get him out of the water. He's full of zeal. Look at that. I'm trying to block that sun there. Beautiful redfish. Nice. Nice, beautiful red. Probably about 23 inches fought really well that's a good respectable first red to start the day hopefully we can get two more for a limit knock on wood but yeah let's let him go yeah like i said i got lucky and the lure actually broke off too <laughs> got him on the curl tail black and gold love this if you're looking to purchase this to catch redfish like this there's a direct link in the description box below all right buddy get out of here yeah yeah man don't tell your friends i'm here okay you can let them know marcus is here but not nick there she goes. Yep, she's gone. Well, not a bad way to start, man. Tell you the truth. Hey, Marcus, that might be a school right, a small school right there. You see that 
you see that movement right there to your right about two o'clock anyways we're gonna try to catch a couple more and uh call it a day we're gonna move on to some bfs stuff now we got one on the curl tail which is very good news to me because that's they want to hit that that's cool i'm gonna try to use a small flats boat too maybe i'll get lucky with some flounder i have a feeling there might be a good couple one or two good flounder around here i mean it just reeks and smells like flounder meaning that this is the type of area they like to hang out There we go. That was a lucky cast. He's got some pull on him. He's got some girth. I like it. It's kind of casting right here where I saw bait. Shoreline. I'll take it. I will take it, man. Considering how dirty the water is from all the, the fresh water that we've had incoming. So I am extremely lucky to get this guy. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Okay, doing some exploring at this undisclosed brand new spot. Caught another one. He's gonna be right at, man, I wanna guess probably 18, 19 inches, but we'll measure him just for good fun. Louisiana slot for sure. Hey, put up your dorsal fin, there you go. Nice fish right there. Like I said, I just kinda caught him right here in this grass line. Bait, I saw bait movement and he's just kinda hanging around. And as you can see, the water clarity is pretty pretty brackish well this area is pretty brackish as is but it's really brackish we got 19 and three quarters you guys can see that almost a slot red get bigger all right we'll catch you on the next one <laughs> It's like a big gar right here. Let's see if I can catch this gar. Nope, I just spooked him. Wait, do I have him? I do have them. <laughs> oh, I thought I was stuck on oysters all the time. Oh, dude. Oh, that was great. <laughs> oh, that was awesome, man. That was too much fun. Well, almost, man. Close, but no cigar. That was a nice drum, too. That would have been a heck of a fight on BFS. Yes! Nice, lucky freaking cast. Oh, he's a, he's a keeper. He's a keeper. Are you joking me? What is this? It's a red. <laughs> oh man, I got lucky. Just, I see oyster right here. I'm just kind of casting towards it. That's a pretty red. In here, bud. Oh, oh yes. Not too not too shabby there not too shabby hey man i'm gonna take it i was going back to the launch and i saw oyster right here and i started casting and i got this nice table fare red i would i'm thinking he's probably right 20 and a half inches 23 quarters maybe perfect size for the grill and he just slammed my lure i was just like i don't know it's been a long day it's been hard to catch fish almost caught a big black drum caught a keeper caught a smaller red earlier but like I said, I was just casting towards this oyster. I know you can't see on the GoPro, but it's black. That's how I know there's oyster in shallow. And he was hanging around the oyster and we got him. What a pretty red. And look at that, guys, with a pinch of the tail. 20 and a quarter inch. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we caught our second keeper today. Look at that. So lucky. Catch your breath there. And we'll let you go. 20 and a quarter with a pinch tail. If I were going to keep him, he would probably shrink down to 20 inches. And that's uh, pretty risky for Game Warden. So we're going to let this guy go. Catch his breath. 
let him swim along with there he goes oyster <laughs> oh man what a great day man great day wasn't really expecting much to be honest with you i already kind of knew it's going to be tough just been doing this for a while now and man we made it work we made it work i know a lot of you guys are new to the channel so welcome thank you so much for subscribing let me just go over some of the equipment that i'm using today because that's probably the number one question i get asked through instagram or facebook or email like what equipment am i using so uh real quick i'm using the old 18 suppressor bfs ultralight rod seven foot casting rod made in usa all high component component parts uh highly highly recommend been using them for over three years caught so many big fish on a pretty much a crappie rod and you can use my discount code rxangler20 and save a a bunch of money uh, there's a, a direct link in the description box below i'm also using the new, the new shimano all the bear and bfs from digitaka.com if you're looking for a coupon code send me um, a dm through instagram and i'll be more than happy to give it to you veribus 1.2 gauge braided line once again there's a discount code in the description box below it is going to be a hot hot summer to tell the truth i mean it's scorching hot out here and it's like right at lunchtime. so um, yeah, be careful guys. If you come out here, make sure you drink plenty of water, put a lot of sunscreen on, protect yourself and all that good stuff. But yeah guys, thank you so much. I really enjoyed myself. Explored a brand new area. Didn't really think much of it, but man, this place has a lot of potential. Uh, if you haven't yet, hit that like button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Also, please leave a comment because a lot of you guys just don't leave comments. I need some comments because I do read them. Uh, thank you so much guys. I love every single one of you. And we'll catch you on the next one.